The first segment today we're going to be talking about is our new Second Chance Animal Shelter in Selma and the wonderful fundraising event that's coming up. I have Sarah with me. I'm going to visit with her. What event do you have coming up? Where will it be held? And give us some more details. Okay. So one of our events that we have coming up is a magic show and comedy show, um, June 21st. Um, it will start, the social hour starts at 7 p.m. And the show starts at 8 p.m. Okay. And it's an 18 and over event, and that'll be at the Selma Arts Center. What is it? Does it include any additional types of things in terms of um, do they get benefits for it? Is it just the show? Is it hors d'oeuvres? What's included? Um, they will have drinks uh, okay. there. All the benefits go to the animal shelter. Okay. Um, we had some amazing sponsors. Um, Cal Waters and Les Schwab were two of our sponsors mm -hmm. um, to help benefit the shelter all the proceeds okay the proceeds are benefiting that so this is an opportunity if you want to see a magic show adults will get to see various types of things going on mm -hmm. and so that's a great way to donate if you love animals if you want to help our shelter and keep it healthy bring monies in this is your opportunity to do so tell us some more things about the Selma Animal Shelter the new second chance this is a newer organization in Selma yes um, Second, Am uh, Second Chance Animal Shelter is a nonprofit organization. Okay. Um, we um, contacted the city of Selma mm -hmm. um, to take care of their stray animals, stray and unwanted animals. Okay. Our goal there at the shelter is to educate our community and um, to help, you know, kind of rehabilitate some of the animals there. A lot of them, well, majority of them come off the streets, gone through a lot. We don't know their history. Mm -hmm. um, so helping them come out of their shells um, is, you know, one of our goals. So what do you look for when they're coming in? What do you have to check when they're coming in? Do they, what types of things do you look for to make sure they're okay to adopt? Obviously, uh, not all the d animals are be able to be adopted. The dogs, we should right. say. Right, yeah. right. Um, well, the intake process, when a dog is brought into us, um, they're given a general exam. Mm -hmm. All the dogs are vaccinated mm -hmm. and they're dewormed upon intake. Um, if it's something severe, a severe injury, like, a, you know, hit by a car or something like that, that we can't take care of there at the shelter, we do take them to our veterinarian who will examine them. And then from there, um, we'll take the proper steps to getting okay. them taken care of. Okay. And what, if someone wants to adopt an animal, how do they do it? What times are you open? How can, how can if I want to buy, get a new Fido for my house, how do <laughs> I do so? Okay. Um, well, our adoption process, um, we start off with a survey. Um, we want to not only match the dog to the right home, but we want to make sure um, the family is, you know, we match the family to the dog as well. Mm -hmm. um, so we start off with a survey to kind of see what the families are looking for. Um, from there, we'll help them, you know, choose some of our pets that mm -hmm. fit the criteria. Um, the adoption fee is 135 okay. and that includes their spay or neuter, their rabies, their microchip, um, and their vaccinations. Okay. How does the microchip work? So if they're lost, their dog is lost, then what, it, what can they do? What do they do to help locate? Okay. So a microchip is a permanent identification mm -hmm. for the dog uh, with the owner's information. So if the dog were to get lost not only in Selma but anywhere throughout the Central Valley or, mm -hmm. you know, throughout the states, yeah. Um, that goes into a national database, so if okay. the dog's picked up, scanned, um, then the owners are contacted. Oh, perfect, mm -hmm. perfect. And say, uh, what times are, is the shelter open for people? So um, our business hours for adoption or any other sort of business, it's, um, sorry, Thursday and Friday from mm -hmm. 3 to 6 p.m., okay. Saturday from 9 to 5, and Sunday from 12 to 4. Okay, so those hours, you can, where can they contact? Is there some place, a website or some place they can go to get more information? How can they contact you if they have questions? So um, we do have our website. It's secondchanceanimalshelter.org. Um, our phone number is 896-7227. Okay. Um, and then we do have our Facebook page as well. And your Facebook, mm -hmm. and that's the 559 area code. So even if you're in Fresno, pretty simple to call. Check with them, see if, you, if you're wanting to get that animal, and who knows, that forever friend that you may have. Um, tell us, um, what types of things, are there things that you're in need of that people can donate? You say if they're not going to donate money and they say, I want to donate some dog food or a dog toy, what types of things can they donate to the process? Um, well, there's all kinds of things that can be donated, um, not only money, um, but blankets, towels, um, dog food. Um, 
let's see, what else? Newspaper, mm -hmm. um, kennels, crates, okay. um, toys, treats. So All there's that. lots of variety. If someone yes. out there just is not wanting to just give money, if you maybe, say if they had a dog that they, they can't have their dog anymore and they had some old, um, had a, a, something to keep it in, can they donate that as well? Yes. Okay. Yes. So see, you. you have lots of opportunities that you can do that. You can, lots of different ways. Or you can just make a donation and they would make it to Second Chance Animal Shelter. Yes. Uh, where would they send it to? Um, the, there's a donate button on our website okay. at secondchanceanimalshelter.org, or they can call us over Oh, the great. Phone. Yeah, mm -hmm. so you can go online, push that button, enter in your credit card information, and then you can make that donation to a, a wonderful service in the community. Now, you do, you just, you accept dogs, right? Yes, we only accept, accept dogs. dogs, right. Yes. Now, if you did, someone had a cat or something else, can you get it to another agency, or what happens then? Um, we, re we do refer them to other agencies. Okay, yes. okay. So, see, they have lots of their references. If you have an animal, a cat, you find an animal, and you think you don't want, you want it to be helped, you can take it over there, and they'll help you to take it to another location. What other, what are the plans, some of the plans coming up for the animal shelter? This is a new facility. Maybe mm -hmm. talk about some of the things that you've put together and built and through many different types of donations and grants. Yes. And um, so June's a pretty big month for us. Um, not only do we have the magic show coming mm -hmm. up June 21st, that same day, um, we also have the Bark for, uh, the Bark for Life walk. Oh. Um, that's happening at our facility. Okay. Um, that's uh, benefi benefiting um, cancer. Um, and um, we also, um, this year, or this month, is um, National Pet Adoption. Okay. Um, so we've teamed up with the Animal Welfare League of America. Mm -hmm. um, and we are, our goal is to adopt out as many dogs as possible for the month of June. Oh, great. So, so yes. we have a goal or anything set that you would like to do? Or? Um, well, this month on our Facebook page, we will be having um, Dogs of the Week posted oh, on there. Um, cool. So each week we'll have a new pet to highlight. Mm -hmm. um, most of them will be our long-term mm -hmm. residents yeah. um, who are needing homes. Um, but we're really, re really excited. Um, it's Animal um, Welfare League's 70th anniversary. Wow. Um, they've helped save over 10,000 pets nationwide. This is a global wow. event, and we're excited to have teamed up with them. Yeah, that'll be a ne an exciting event to be a part of in mm -hmm. your first year. Yes, <laughs> yes. Very exciting. Tell us some more things, is there, um, other additional things. Now, the, day, the same day as the show, you're doing a walk for the cancer. Is there a fee to participate or...? Um, I'm not sure. I think there is a small fee. Um, is that through Selma Cancer Support? Or? I believe so. Okay, yeah. so you could contact that agency mm -hmm. if you had any questions, I'm sure, on their website, anything like that. So yes. that's great. There's a collaboration of yes. agencies. So lots of different ways you can work with the animals. Yes. What other, uh, what donations? Tell us about some of the organizations and maybe individuals that are volunteering, that are participating. Maybe let us know about that a little bit. Um, we do have quite a few people that... Um, have been donating their time volunteering. Um, we have a lot of high school students that have been coming out and volunteering. Oh, um, we're excited about this summer um, having a lot of students who have signed up mm -hmm. and who are excited about coming out now that they're going on a summer break. Okay. Um, not only just helping with our animal shelter but also getting involved in various parts of the community. So what do they do when they come out there? Just as an example if there's a high school kid that's saying I'm bored I want something to do for the summer what types of things do they help with? Um, so we usually, some students will help with the kennel cleaning, mm -hmm. um, and then some students still go out and work with the dogs, um, you know, working with training, different things mm -hmm. like that. Um, we have some students who will bathe the dogs, um, get, you know, so they're a little bit more comfortable in their kennels, yeah. um, and just socialize uh, with the dogs, with them, um, things like that. And how, you know, speaking of socializing with the dogs and looking at all of that, how I'm sure you have to assess what's going on with them, and are there ones that you have to mark that are maybe, you know, more at risk than other type of dogs? What do you do to assess the dogs? Um, we are constantly evaluating the dogs on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. um, I am a certified dog trainer okay. um, specializing in shelter dog behavior. Oh, wow. So every day we're assessing the dogs. Um, shelter life is not a life for the dogs. Mm -hmm. They're not supposed to be there for the rest of their life. No, Our goal no. is to get them out. 
um, and try to keep the stress levels of the shelter as low as possible. Okay. Um, so we do, you know, we dog test them, we people test them, constantly evaluating them. Sometimes we might change the environment around them mm -hmm. to see if they improve, to do our best to make them as adoptable as possible. Okay. And, and are there, uh, unfortunately, probably there are some that there may be issues that just aren't adoptable for various reasons? Mm -hmm. Okay, well this is a wonderful program, the Selma Second Chance Animal Shelter. I have to think what the name of it is. It's new. But you can participate, you can, uh, if you need, well, would like to adopt a dog, they have plenty. They would love to give them to you, all sizes and shapes. So please feel free to contact the Selma Ani uh, Second Chance yeah, at, shelter. what's the website? SecondChanceAnimalShelter.org. .org or the phone? 896-7227. Okay, this is your opportunity.